guys, so it's Saturday and I have just sat down to do a little art project and I thought I would do some filming and show you what I'm doing and then just have a little chit chat kind of video for you this week. Um, it's about 70 degrees outside and I feel like it's really warm. It's actually supposed to be almost um, in the 80s next week, but it's 70 today. It's not raining and it has been raining a ton and kind of cold, so I will take this weather. Anyway, um, like I said, it's Saturday. Dean and I have just been kind of pittering around so far today. I mowed the lawn. He finished planting all of the seeds in the garden. I cleaned up a little bit around the house and out here on the patio. We had some friends over last night, and so I had some things to clean up. Um, let me think. Oh, I also planted some culinary herbs and some pots for out here on the patio. Um, I had a few of those I needed to get together. Anyway, so Dean and I were talking about having some more things for adults and kids to do when they come over to our house. Um, and then the events team, which I'm a part of at our church, is planning to do like a, like a game day for Father's Day, out, outdoor games. And so anyway, I was online and I was researching what kinds of things we could have around here and we could have at our Father's Day game day and this idea popped up this is not so much for father's day but this was i thought this was super cute and fun for the boys so it was really easy it's made out of cross cut sections of a stump which i had dean bring the chainsaw over and cut two of them for me um and then rocks so i just picked a bunch of little rocks out of the garden since we've been doing all that stuff i picked 18 rocks and basically what you're doing is you're going to paint the top of the stump and you're going to paint the rocks and you're making a little tic-tac-toe board and I thought that was so cute and it would be really fun to have a couple of them here so like my boys could play just whenever they wanted if I don't want them to be inside all day we've done school inside or whatever and I say hey go outside and play and they get bored of the trampoline or whatever they can have this to do and then if friends come over they can play with their friends um, yeah so it just looks it just looks really cute so basically you create a pond scene on the top of the wood, um, just blue water, and then you paint nine lily pads across the top. So I'm gonna do that twice and let those dry. And then you take your rocks and you do half ladybugs and half frogs. That was what I found in the picture. So I thought I would give that a try today and see how well this works. I am no artist, but I can paint some. So. I have a paper plate to mix up paints on and then I have a napkin here to dry my brush if I need to and I've got a cup of water and I have a bunch of these acrylic paints. I have different brands. This is Apple Barrel brand and then this is called Color Splash. This is a tempura paint. This is an acrylic paint. Both of these do okay outside in the weather. Um, I think I read somewhere that tempura paint will wash off in water but the boys painted their birdhouses that they made like a year or two ago with tempura paint and they are still colored like it has not washed off and they are up in our trees so they're exposed to the weather weather all the time so they've done fine so I'm gonna use that today um, I'm not sure if these boards will stay out in the weather or if we'll kind of put them up somewhere but if they get left out and they get rained on I'm not gonna worry about all of my work washing off all right so I think what I'm gonna do is start by mixing a couple of blues together to do the um, the water portion and I guess I'll just do one at a time so actually I think I'm just gonna squirt this on like this and just rub it around so there's a light blue and then I'll do some darker blue in a few places I'm gonna paint all the blue and then I'll set this aside and let it dry and I'll do the water lilies a bit later and I'm actually not sure how much paint this wood will soak up it may soak up a lot of it not work very well <laughs> it's already kind of soaking up a good bit but yeah this is looking nice if you guys have any ideas for fun like outdoor types of games for things to kind of keep around for kids and adults I would love if you tell me in the comments below because I really need to find some stuff I thought about buying a croquet set because Dean and I used to play croquet with his grandparents a lot and I had never played croquet before but it was something they loved and enjoyed and they always uh, did it 
family get-togethers, and I would love to have a croquet set and do that. The boys have played it with us a few times, and they like it over at Dean's parents. So, Some other ideas that I had for outdoor games was to buy one of those big cloth checkerboards um, that have the big checker pieces that can be set up on a table. Um, cornhole boards, I think that's what that's called. I need some more of this. There were a bunch of ideas on the website that I was looking at. But, um, yeah, I just like to, to have a little bit more idea than what I have now. There's also, uh, what do you call that stuff? Like, um, Ultimate Frisbee, but it's like, um, Frisbee golf. Yeah, you put these little stands up. I think we've played that before. I think adults would like that maybe more so than the kids. I don't know. Maybe it's just my kids that aren't too thrilled about that. Because I asked them about that and they were like, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I think that's good enough for this first one. I'll lay that right there. So that's what that looks like. I'm just going to set that aside and let it dry, and then I'll put the lily pads on. And while it's drying, I'll do this one. So Dean cut these and he took all the bark off of the edge because these came off of logs that had poison oak growing on them and I will for sure break out if I touch poison oak. <laughs> so he knocked all the bark off. Here's hoping there's no oil on this because then I'll be a big mess. It would be so much cheaper just to go and buy something like this, but this is kind of therapeutic, just setting outside in the sun, soaking up some vitamin D and painting and doing something creative. So I thought, why not? Like, I've got all my housework done. I have all my gardening work done today. I do have a little bit of like online work I could do, but I'm really trying hard to just say, I'm not working on the weekends. I'm not working on Saturday or Sunday. If I shoot a vlog or something, I feel like that's a bit different than doing other kinds of work. So I am out here making some fun things for the kiddos. And I'm not sure how much the older boys will appreciate or care for this, but I know Ezra will like it. And I think Uriah will too. I don't think they're too old for this kind of thing. So at this point, I'm gonna set both of these aside. And I'm gonna take my rocks and paint the back side because I'm gonna have to flip them over and paint the front. So I'm just going to take half of the rocks, I'll take nine of them and make ladybugs and then I'll do nine with frogs. And I think I'll coat the bottom and the sides and then just set them back here and let them dry. And by the time I'm done with all of those, the bottoms and the sides of all the rocks, I should be ready to do the lily pads and then those can be drying. And then while the lily pads are drying, I should be able to do the top. So we'll see how this works. So let me think here. I need red and green, if I can find a green, there it is. more of me than I am the rocks. Okay, so I think this is dry enough for me to paint the lily pads on. It'll probably continue to dry and lighten up some. So I think I'm gonna take some yellow and mix with my green to make like a light green color. All right, so I'm gonna start by putting like a little dot on each of the centers of the lily pads just so I can 
make sure that I get everything positioned correctly and I have enough room. I think this should be okay. Okay, so can you guys see where I put the dots? So I'm gonna put the lily pads on those spots. So lily pads are kind of like fat hearts. They've got like the heart shape at the top, but they're really wide at the bottom. They don't come to a point. It's like a rounded, rounded bottom. So can you see that lily pad? It's got that real rounded bottom right here and kind of like a heart to the top. So I'm gonna do that for all of them and I'm gonna turn them different directions so they don't all face the same way. Just try to make it real random looking. Okay, so I added some more blue around the edge just because I was kind of running out of room with lily pads and my, my final lily pad is like really small because I didn't space them. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and add some blue around that one and that way I have more room. But overall, it's cute and the boys can still play with it, no big deal, and do their little tic-tac-toe on the lily pads. So I'm gonna do this other one and then I'll be done with um, the wood part. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside and let it dry again actually and go ahead and do the back side of all of the rocks. Ooh, I'm making a mess on myself. And the table. Oh, that's good. What do you think this is? Um, what does it look like? That one over there and tell me what you think. Um, it looks like green, like the that can accept um, all of it is just green and blue. Mm -hmm. But does this look like a picture of some sort? Like, what do you think this oh could God. be? Someone on the end of that looks like a box. <laughs> uh, it looks like your booty. It's supposed to be like a heart. Oh. Okay, it's a heart. <laughs> sort of. Okay, so overall, if you look at the whole picture, what do you think it looks like? What do you? Does it look like anything in particular? Uh, an ocean with hearts in it. An ocean with hearts in it. Okay, that's pretty close. It's supposed to be a pond, and these are lily pads that frogs jump on. Oh, that's what I was thinking, but I didn't know what would be called. You didn't know what they were, they were called. Okay. Bad. So good. That means mom's uh, lack of artistic I like you. expertise I like you is not that bad here. Mm -hmm. I'm not an artist, but drawing these little they're lily really pads. Bad look like they're not sort of. They're like little hearts. All right. Let's see. Let's do the last one this way. But I it know. is like tic-tac-toe, so they're kind of in a row, although mine are not super straight. But I thought this and see the rocks the red ones are going to mm -hmm. be um ladybugs and the green ones are going to be frogs and then you guys can play tic-tac-toe on these boards that'd be fun all right so i want the flatter side to be the side that sits on the table so the the bumpier side will keep up top and i need some black right here will do. So I'm just going to paint random black spots. There's probably a pattern on ladybugs, but I don't know what it is. Is it like, are there dots in a row? The little spots? I don't know, but I am going to do a black face and just put little eyes on it since I don't really know what they look like. These are not gonna be accurate ladybugs. I probably should have looked that up. <laughs> All right, so there's one, and when it dries, I'll put that some one. little white dots for its that eyes. One. Did you find one? Okay, you wanna go rinse it off with the hose or rinse it off inside in the sink? And then you can bring it out here and you can paint it. Okay, be careful, because it'll spray you. All right, that's it for that one. Now we're gonna let them dry and we'll put eyes on.
them in a little bit. Now I have to do the frogs, and I think what I'm going to do is take some light yellows and greens and kind of do the same thing and kind of put spots on the rocks and kind of make it look like a spotted frog, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm going to do some dark and some light colors. myself up and let this stuff dry and then Ezra you want to play a game of tic-tac-toe with mama when you're all done uh, sure. okay sure. just to test it out just to test it I did all this work for you you better say yeah <laughs> okay so Ezra and I are gonna play around I go first of I go first. pond tic-tac-toe you're going first all right Do it again? Yeah. Um, All right. Are you gonna go first again? Yes. Why do you know? Winners go first. Winner goes first. All and right. then we should did the ones. I know. Um, okay. I beat you twice. You're gonna have to win. Yeah, I hope I oh. do. Some of this paint is coming off on the bottom. Still not dry all the way. Yeah, look. Yeah. Is it on your hands? Yeah, I can yeah. Okay. All right. Are you going to go see. first? Yeah. What? We'll fix. No, winners. Let no winners go first. All right. I'll start in the middle. Should have blocked me. <laughs> yeah, but okay. Then I would know. No, you would go right. You go right down. Mm -hmm. All right. Good game. Go Shake right Mama's there. painted hand. <laughs> good game. <laughs> okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this little art video today of making something fun for your kids. And I think that if I leave these little guys outside on a table, I think my kids will have a lot of fun playing with them this summer. Um, and we'll see how long they hold up. If you guys have any other ideas, again, like I mentioned earlier, about fun outdoor games to just have out and about for kids and adults to play, leave your suggestions in the comments below. I would love to know what other things I can put around the house for the boys and us to play with and friends to play with when, they come, when we come over or when they come over to our house for a get-together. So anyway, thank you guys very much again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel and if you click the bell to turn on notifications so that you know when new weekly vlogs are available. All right, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.